right, I'm going to read you the story of Sweet Potato uh, by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Here we go. Sweet Potato. Sweet Potato. Some vegetables are frozen until they're very good eating. Don't believe me? Take a walk in. It was night time in the soup land and all was quiet. But crash! Bang! Something had escaped from a freezer. Something small and round and green. Something looking like a big dead fish. Help! Help! cried Carrot. It's stuck to the conveyor belt. Oh, cried Broccoli. Someone's drawn on my face. Mm, 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 cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help? These vegetables are in distress. Sweet Potato to the rescue. He used his super speed. He used his super strength. And he used a flannel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Sweet Potato. There's a pea on the leaf. <gasps> oh no, not a pea, everyone gasped. Yes, a pea, but I'm out of the freezer now and I'm never going back. <laughs> and the evil pea went off to the milkman's house. <gasps> Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Sweet Potato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Sue Potato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes. He checked the cheese, and then he snuck up on him at the beans. And something caught his eye. The game's up, yelled Sue Potato. Kapow! But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Sue Potato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. Was this the end for Sue Potato? <gasps> Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Sue Potato, he shrieked. But Sue Potato summoned up all of his strength and ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans, closed in on him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes. So much for Sue Potato, screeched the pea. You're about to be mashed potato. Surely this was the end for Sue Potato. Not today, my friend, said Sue Potato. Gotcha, mm -mm -mm, said the pea. Scratch. Oh, yes, said Sue Potato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or should that be in it? And he grinned a super grin. Sue Potato had saved the day. Take him away, he said, and the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes like pea, said Broccoli, and everybody laughed and cheered. So remember, folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go and check your freezer just in case there's an escaped pea in your house. The end.